I don't know. I mean, if it is already here, then it's really fast for pizza. Who started Team Star? Hatchet Head. The first team in sports history to adopt a star was Jevna. What? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you got your answer. The Big Bang did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Go to Bulbapedia. <gasps> Brick break! Yes! Oh man, I wasn't here for... What was that? Mela? That... Yeah. That boss? She the is... Fire one? Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I have to go fight the boss to find out. They're probably going to be higher level than the fighting type. Yeah. So, it was a twist. Don't say any more. I should probably level up my... Pokemon. It's clavicle. <laughs> Shut yeah. up. It is. It's definitely clavicle. It is. I have confirmed I it was life. definitely clavicle. The extremely old man started the the bullied squad. <laughs> yeah. Why <laughs> would Hatchet ever lie? It's a fuck with me. No. Hatchet, you you would never lie, would you? What the I fuck is that? Lie. What? There's a giant spike coming out of the ground. Oh, you must be near the place that Penguin was talking about. Yeah, that's the that's where people are guessing the border of Kalos and uh, Paldania are. Or is. Or theorize and speculation. Well, seeing as number one, there's a giant fucking crater in the middle of Paldania. And we know that the super weapon that was revealed in X and Y was used around that area. And number two, uh, the giant fucking spikes that I'm pretty sure you can also, or has been like referenced, I think, in X and Y. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are, like, right next to Kalos. And it also makes sense because this this takes place in Spain. And watch, Kalos and watch it, like, it put, it put it right next to, like, Seno. And you'd just be wrong the entire time. Seno! Seno is, like... What is Seno? I forgot. Isn't it, like... Isn't that part of Japan? We know Sino is a no Sino's no Sino is a European country I think, but I don't think they ever specified which one. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is somewhere close to Japan. I forgot. You'll never know. So I may have the answer, and I'll just never tell you. Bitch. I see the answer in the stream chat, but I'm just not gonna tell you. Tell me, please. You'll have to ask Hatchet for the answer, but well, Hatchet tell you the answer. That's the question. Hatchet, please. Hatchet, I would like to know the answer, please. Wait, what? I'm not listening. It's in Twitch chat. What's the answer? God damn, I did not need to go. What's in- like, what are you talking about? Oh, what Sinnoh is. What country Sinnoh is supposed to be. How the fuck am I supposed to know? It's in Twitch chat! What do you- Okay, one. My- again, my Twitch chat is, like, buggy. I'm not seeing everything, probably. 
And two, why are you asking me? Because fucking Bright won't tell me. <laughs> oh wait, you're just asking what Bookworm wrote in Twitch chat? Mm -hmm. Oh, Bookworm said, I think it's the first four regions are based off Japan. Yeah. Now you have the answer. See, you just had to axe hatchet. Axe hatchet. You're an asshole. <laughs> um, I mean, it is appropriate to axe hatchet. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, this is what you get for being a rude bitch. Grand Inferno got his ass kicked. I was gonna say something else, but then I realized the child was here. What? Don't worry about it. I am worried, because that's, that's like... What? Are you okay mentally? No. Okay. Oh, this is just fucking sad. Why? You figure out who the boss was? Yeah, I read through it. And I'll simply say I was correct in two of my suspicions. Oh, I'm gonna try to fight. Uh, I'm gonna try to fight the big boss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what level the Pokemon are at, because I, I think it's gonna be 60, is my assumption, is level 60, because I don't think they're gonna go that high, because usually they don't go to 70 unless it's, like, the final boss, and there is a final boss of this game, and I know the one for Violet, and it's Jesus fucking Christ. Right, how do you, as a Christian, feel about having to fight your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Rocket launcher. Real <laughs> what? Real quick, what's the name of the quest giver? For the Team Star stuff? Uh, like the person on the phone? You can probably look it up and I'll show a better spelling. Cannoli. I just... That doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to spell it. Cassiopeia. That may have... Okay, that is easily... If I'm correct about this then that is one of the biggest yep yep that's like one of the biggest clues what does it mean uh well it would be spoilers since bright has message me message me yet message me yet don't message penguin no message me please Fuck don't you. do it Thank fuck, this motherfucker did not, for once, use... Okay, thank fucking shit. Oh my god. Motherfucker okay, didn't use- to... No! Okay, is there a way to avoid getting hit with yawn? No. This motherfucker, guess what he did after using light screen? Guess what he fucking did? Guess what he fucking did? You'll never fucking guess. Guess. Uh, he pulled out a gun and shot you. No, my child is still and then alive. He, and then he yawned. No, he used <laughs> fucking yawn. No, because I'm pretty sure that move only has like 10 times you can use it. Okay, foul play. Oh, fuck. That's not good for my gorilla. Not gorilla. God damn it. Gal alligator. I'm a dumbass. Good job. Shut up. How did oh. that not kill? Are you fucking... <sighs> what is this creature? I'm going to hurt this goddamn monkey. I oh, swear to Oh, is it like a, like a praying mantis creature? That flies, yeah. Flying praying mantis. I've seen them in my state. All praying mantises can fly. No, what I mean is, like, they're really, really big wings. Uh... <laughs> like a specific weird-ass subspecies? Yeah. Kill. Uh -oh. I killed the monkey that was spamming yawn. Thank shit. Oh, I thought you were going to try to catch it. No. I'm loving it. Why, you didn't want Scyther? No. Scyther's cool. 
So I think that's actually pretty good if you want to do shiny hunting, because it can learn false swipe, or it has false swipe naturally. Also, thank you again for food, Bookworm. Bookworm is simply the best. Yeah. He really is. Oh, Bookworm got you food? Mm-hmm. Based. Die. Based Die, bookworm. fucking giant-ass tree. Okay, Sorry, now Bookworm, capture... I didn't mean you. Bookworm, you can live. You're good. Well, what? I don't think... Book... Well, Bookworm's not a giant-ass tree. Bookworm's a simulation. What? Yeah, don't what you do know you this? know that we don't? No, this has been established canon for a while. You should yep. capture this dude. Yeah, Bookworm's a simulation. Even Bookworm's aware of this. Uh, what? Yeah! What? Right now has a Scyther. Are you gaslighting? Oh, hell yeah, Scyther. Are you gonna evolve Scyther? I honestly sometimes forget Scyther has an evolution because its evolution looks nothing. Yeah, it's nothing trade like it. its pre evolution. Oh, do you, I thought they removed having to trade it. As far as I remember, you had to trade it. Oh, well, in Arceus, they, they removed having to trade it, but also that you couldn't make your Pokemon hold items, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> You're naming it Hatchet. I love having a, fl a fire. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, you could just say Hatchet Head. Well, it's now Hatchet. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's gonna get confusing if you're referring to the Pokemon, though. <laughs> Name it Hacky. Hatchet, I choose you! I'm not doing shit for you. <laughs> also, okay, so I'm battling a motherfucker, right? And I just... One of the, the, the fucking, um... One of the fucking, like, uh, NPCs walked by, and it was just their face. And I am afraid. Oh, yeah, Bisharp <laughs> has an evolution. Oh, oh yeah, I remember Bisharp? that. It's a, it's a fucking samurai, if I remember correctly, or mm -hmm. something like that. It's actually really cool. I love it. I, I misheard you, and I thought you said this shark. <laughs> <laughs> what? This shark has an evolution. Yeah. Do you not have an evolution? Are you a shark without an evolution? Hmm? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Sweet, I, no I got this guy. Easy cat shark. I think it has an uh, evolved special, though. What's this? Also, oh, this motherfucker uses... Oh my god, oh, that's so cool. Oh, okay, I love that they did that. That's cool. Kill it. I got attacked by a baby. I'm making this hamster hard, and then I'm gonna murder a duck. Why murder a duck? Because I can. Because it's a stupid fuck. So it's you. That was unnecessary. I am a penguin. Not a duck. Hey, can you prove it, though? Yes. Okay, that fight was really fucking easy. I thought it was going to be really hard. Besides the fucking monkey spamming yawn, that was really easy. Okay. Well, then. Right, you don't have to worry about the big, uh, big big boss fight. I don't. Yeah, after the Team Star shit, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. It is surprisingly easy. Also... Unless your team sucks ass with variety. Also, Pokemon says both are swimming birds. No. Oh... Huh, I can have an aerial view of the fight. Oh, There's a Lion. cow shark? Yeah. There's a motherfucking cow shark?
Hey, Hatchet, remember him? The Blood Force Trauma? I don't know what his what his pre-evolutions look, look like. I don't know what he looks like in general. Oh my god, there's a round shark. There is a shark that's named the round shark. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There's also a horn shark. Or, uh, never mind. Yeah. Japanese spur dog. Kite fin shark. Ooh, I need to add kite fins at some point. <laughs> Book run bonk bright. <laughs> They know me too well. Hey, Bright. Mm -hmm. Name name the shark that when it's an adult has spots. The leopard shark, the zebra shark, or the bull shark? Bull shark? No. You want to try again? Gone. Spotted shark. I I gave you a multiple choice question, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Morgan said I also should block myself because I thought it too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the correct answer is the zebra shark. The zebra shark has spots, and the leopard shark has stripes. Someone was high when they named those two. Oh no, you see, it's funny because it's the exact opposite when they're infants. Like, when they're juveniles, the zebra sharks have stripes, and the leopard sharks have spots. But once hmm. they get older, they develop literally the opposite patterning. That's interesting. You know what else is interesting? Not you. These. What did you say? These. I'm not falling for that. You don't know what these is? Uh, fuck off. Let me guess. Bookworm got you? No. I know what you're trying to pull. Fuck off. You don't know, you don't want these? No. <laughs> Not Someone was it. thinking about Iceland and Green. <laughs> 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 what are your thoughts on and opinions on colonoscopy? It What? Why are you asking me my thoughts on an important medical procedure? It's it's a medical procedure. Anyone over a certain age should probably get one to check for colon cancer. I now own a Pokemon Center. Dicks! Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Bookworm played dicks. Yeah. Dicks! Thanks, Bookworm. Throat spray. Ooh, throat spray is pretty good. This, anyway, this is now my Pokemon Center. No one else is allowed to go right. here. Right, 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 right. What? I don't know who has to tell you this, but you can, in fact, not own a Pokemon Center. I can if I try. Yeah, those are, no. yeah, those are all. Yeah, the Pokemon Centers are all owned by the Shell Company. Don't you know that? Oh god, I'm going away now. <laughs> what? It's the Pokemon gas stations, you know? That is... No. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> it's just a pen sloth just laying there. <laughs> and you've got Bookworm over here telling a story with two... Uh, two messages. Privatizing a nationalized healthcare system. And their second message? Bad. That's it. <laughs> I agree. Based, based, uh, and red, based and blue pills? 
Based, based in something pilled. Uh, what? Based and good pilled. <laughs> yeah, based and Bread good pilled. pilled. Well then, uh, learn how to pause the counter. Fuck off. Anyway, uh, bookworm, I got disconnected for some strange ass reason. Discover fish. I really found it funny that it, it stopped at slacking. <laughs> so, uh, what you missed, uh, Bookworm, was, uh, bright killing bears. That's about it. I see a hermit scyther. Like, he's just sitting over there, just in chilling his, like, in his own little island. I'm gonna go murder him. Good for you, Bright. Oh, he's gone. He left. Uh, uh, uh um, I, I have, having difficulties? Can I just find one decently sized image of a fucking fi file tail cat shark, please? No. Fuck you. Pokemon fuck who? I was saying fuck you to Bright. Oh. Yeah, since I got stuff to do tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go to bed at one. As much as I hate hate it. Mm. Wait, but the subathon is still going. Subathon? Yeah. You'll oh. just yeah be a bit longer coming back to it. Yeah, sadly. Did you know? Orange is better than purple. Shut up. Do you know the definition of subjectivity? <laughs> Did you know? I don't fucking care what the fuck English means. Did you I know that I care English. that I, I lose brain English. cells when some people on this voice chat speak? Bitch. But then I guess you better stop talking, Bright. Hey! Yeah, you better stop talking. You walked right into that one. I know. <laughs> How many people in this voice call think? Done. Correct. Well, I'm currently thinking, but I'm... My brain cells are being exclusively occupied by sharks. Um, there's... That is... There's a soldier stuck in a rock. That's Why are they stuck in my rock? No, a rock. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. Oh wait, no, he no, he's not. This is area view. Bisharp. What the fuck is a bisharp? Night. I found out how, how, how to do the spinning thing they, that they do in Pokemon Championships. Right. Bookworm, you... silence. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I said silence to Bookworm. You're gay. Not to you. What? I mean, I am kinda. I'm Pam. You're gay. Hey, look, it's Spoon! Teen homosexual Spoon. Have you heard of homosexual spoons? Have your family been affected by homosexual uh, spoons? Don't, don't tell Jerry, but I'm about to kill Spoon. No! Wait, what? didn't you trade Spoon? No. Oh, I thought you got rid of Spoon. No. 
You told me not to. Awful fucking person. I got rid of car. You're still an awful fucking person. Fucking car. I what thought car about getting rid of you? toothless. Oh, fuck. Not toothless. Toothbrush. All right, I'll do the thing for you right after this. Hold on. I'll do the special thing you wanted to see, Hatchet. This bet what? You'll see. Hold on. Let me go back to boxes. Where are you, toothbrush? There's toothbrush. Go to bag. I specifically said I wanted to see Toothbrush evolve. There you go. I want to see... Oh, I know what Toothbrush evolves into. Here you go, Hatchet. <laughs> DreamWorks coming for that copyright lol. Yeah, I've already seen that. Best Evolution. You wanted to see it. The Femboy already had one. Sea Titan, the Terra Whale Pokemon. Ice energy builds up in the horn on its upper jaw, causing the horn to reach cryogenic temperatures that freeze its surroundings. It is four okay. Real quick, four foot. Why is it a nine? Yeah. Sorry. Why is it a Terra Whale when it's not an Earth type? Don't question it. I am questioning it. Shut up. Stop questioning it. They don't want you to question it. The two dumbest people in the room are telling me not to question something. Yeah. yeah. Did I just walk into a Republican conference? Yes. <laughs> yeah. We've lied. We are secretly... We are both two clones of Ronald Reagan. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Words so, cannot... you want to hear about our politics about trickling down? Alright, all here's my ideas on economics. I'm just <laughs> gonna whip it out and piss all over the proletariat. <laughs> I feel like that's the worst thing you have ever said. It really is. Bookworm said also, because it walks on land. I'm not a Terra type Pokemon because I walk on land. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Stop yes, saying yes, that. Yes, you are. You are such a fucking annoyance. You are now. Who joined? Hi. Hey, Jerry. Oh my god, it's Snake Man. Oh. Jerry, I want to show you someone. Okay. I'll send them out for you. Lemon. It's, it's Lemon. The big lemon boy. Lemon 3.0. Is Lemon the... Uh... <laughs> big boy. Land shark? That shark is like three of you. Yeah. It's a land shark that is three of you. I am three of me. No, you aren't. God damn it. What the fuck does that even mean? No one knows. Garchomp. Garchomp is honestly... I love Garchomp. He's really strong, too. Like, when he was first I mean, introduced, he, he was crazy legendary. strong. Because his only weakness was ice. Yeah. And ice types weren't really used commonly because they're kind of wimpy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like uh, ice types, though. They're pretty cool, but very, very weak. Uh, Jerry. Hmm? Uh... The child sent me down the rabbit hole of trying to choose uh, cat sharks to add to the deck. Cat sharks? Yeah, cat, cat sharks. sharks. Cat sharks Nothing. are really cute. I have cursed Hatchet. How have you cursed me? See, now you can't pick the ones you, you, you think are the best because there are so many and they are so cute. What do you mean? I've already picked the ones that I think are the best. <laughs> Jerry I've got the know. pajama. I've got the pajama shark. I've got the Izu cat shark. I've got the coral cat shark, and I got the chain cat shark. 
Those are my four Oh favorites. yeah, Cynthia, that's true, Bookworm. I fucking love Cynthia. Mm-hmm. Also, why is there some, like, random lady on this far-off island? Is there yeah, but I was... But the child specifically, surprisingly, sent me down this rabbit hole majorly, uh, because, um, they simply said cat shark. Uh, honestly, did you even actually know cat sharks were a thing? Were you just throwing words together? I was throwing words together. Yeah, so I knew cat sharks existed. I go to search it up. There are a hundred and there are about a hundred and sixty individual species of cat shark in seventeen genres. Like I, I knew there were a lot of them. I didn't realize there was that many. Yep. So I have picked uh, the four that I find the prettiest, and one extra one that is a deep sea one. Oh, Hatchet. An apology yeah. for rubbing it in yesterday that I saw albino crocodile and crocodile. There is an adorable gift of an albino crocodile. I mean, it's... It's no worries. I was mostly just joking around. There but yeah, it's taken... It's taken me probably three hours to download five images because I've just been so constantly interrupted. Hey, Hatchet, was you like in Among Us? What? Would you like an Among Us? An Among Us? Yeah, would you like an Among Us? I'm saying I re I see it right now. Don't tell me you don't know about Among Us. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> it's Among Us. Actually, it's it really among -us. is Among Us. It's actually pronounced Amoongus, for some reason. I don't care. We should keep the Amoongus. I got put to sleep. Oh, well that's not good. <laughs> oh wait! My berry! I ate a berry to wake up. Uh, how the fuck does that work? <laughs> it doesn't. It does! To be fair, if someone shoved a berry in your mouth, you'd fucking wake up. <laughs> Good point. Honestly, I don't know if I would. I'm a really heavy sleeper. I'd oh. probably just die. So I can draw on your face hatchet when you sleep? No, you cannot. You're not allowed. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I want to. I want to draw on people's faces. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, and I want to own a fucking whale shark, but sometimes we can't have what we want, Bright. And I wish I was loved as a child, but I didn't get that, so yeah, we can't always get what we want. Jesus Christ. You're still a child! Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, child, child. You're still a child, child. Shut up. You're not a I, tiny I am child. Not. Look, you're wrong and right, okay? Child. Sleepy, you're gonna pull Chicklick Pop <laughs> Gonna pull a Jiggly Pop? They're not. The Jiggly Pops are notorious for putting people to sleep. Oh. I caught the Among Us. What, that's not even what the child was trying to fight earlier. Small child. I'm going to rename it to Among Us. Personally, I love the fact that at this point, uh, the child is less like a designation of someone who is underage and more is just a title. Yeah. What will we call Penguin when they eventually turn 18? The, to the, the child. The top child. <laughs> so we will upgrade no, the no, child no. to child 2.0. Child yeah. 2.0. Are big you going to call them the adult child? 
<laughs> that's a doll that's child. kind of funny too. <laughs> we'll have to figure it out. Like we have what a couple years, yeah. year and a half. Uh, you have like a year and three months. Okay, yeah, so about a year and a half. A year and a little less than a half, year and a quarter. How does it, how does it feel that I am almost eighteen years old? I'm thirty-seven. Uh, I would I would say that I'm actually relieved because then we don't have to constantly avoid certain topics when you're around. And we wouldn't have to tell you to shut up all the time. Yeah, all you I can know... just you can just be your weird little uh I insert word that I can't say self. Fucked up? Well, that too, but I was thinking of a different word. Welcome says it makes me feel old. <laughs> Isn't Bookworm like only a year older than us? Yeah. You and me, Brian? Once again, I am 37, and Spood, what is your age? Well, yeah, we all know that you're old compared to us. Also, oh, I was wrong. Uh, Jigglypuff uh, drew faces on people when they fell asleep because they felt, uh, because people fell asleep whenever Jigglypuff sang. Spoop? Hmm. I, I had that power. I would constantly sing just so I could draw on people's faces. Wait, am I 37 or you're 38? Gary over here forgetting their own age. Oh yeah. Anyway, I am 37 and Spoon is 38. Okay. I really want a shiny uh, rock, rock rough because they're blue and I no. like the color blue. Not. Child, I'm sorry to tell you this, but if you catch what you just said, uh, it will be deducted from your taxes. <laughs> Shiny rock rough. Yeah. yeah, we will, we will take your shiny rock rough as tax money. I will get a f gun. Yeah, and then there'll just be more taxes, so we'll ask you for one and a half rock rough. Oh my god, you're just gonna cut a rock rough in half. Yeah. What about its organs? No. What organs? Yeah, you can keep those. Hatchet, you're not allowed to. To cut any doggos in half. What? Have you never heard of taxidermy? Legs. What? All we need are the legs. Don't what? ask why. <laughs> what? You know what? No, I'm gonna ask why. What the fuck do you need the legs for? No, no, no. We will not be talking about what we need the legs for at this time. Eating? No. No! Who would eat a dog? Not us. There's I mean, there are some cultures that eat dogs. Yeah, it's Chinese. Penguin, penguin, no. I think it's certain regions in China, not just the Chinese <laughs> flat statement. Yeah. And it's like for holiday shit. It's not like they think it's yummy. It's like holiday shit or out of necessity. Oh, uh, no, there is a Chinese restaurant that serves dog meat near me. What? Right, I think that's just your state being really fucked up. I don't think that's just how people are. Honestly, it's probably not that much more immoral than almost any other animal we eat. Uh, yeah, like, pigs are smarter than dogs, and we eat pigs all the time. Yeah. All that matters is how they're, how, how they're treated before they're killed. Mm -hmm. Or, well, obviously, preferably, we just advances the society to the point where we're not killing and eating animals anymore but while it's still going on it's I mean not there's the also worst some people thing. there's I also like some meat. people that literally cannot live without eating meat because like they'll just fucking die yeah, well, yeah but they like help shit. there are people who are allergic to most or all plants I know how to fix oh, the no. problem with both cheering drang said it's called a gun no! What? <laughs> That's not... No. And the... The thing I'm thinking of isn't like... Everyone just stops eating meat outright. The main thing I'm thinking of is the advancements in cloning technology. Oh yeah, fair point. There will... Probably within our lifetimes... Like, fully cloned... Meat will be available that had never been attached to a brain. And as such, we, 
as and not only that but this sort of meat would likely be more mass producible and better on the environment than anything that we have now also probably cheaper most likely yeah unless human the rich get to it and then make it expensive because human that's what meat the rich for sale sorry oh, yeah. right did you know that human that human meat tastes similar to pork and is incredibly fatty I mean, yeah, when we get right down to it, like, if this was to happen, like, that's actually something that we could try. I don't know if I would eat human flesh. I think that's just... Actually, I, I probably how fatty would be de would depend on the human. Yeah. There are yeah. some humans that have basically no fat and would taste horrible to eat. No. If we simply taste similar to pork, that would mean we would taste similar to wild boars. And wild boars, if you do not cook it right... Are totally inedible due to the lack of fat. Also, um. Oh, does that mean I taste good? If I was gonna be, if I were to be eaten, I would taste good. Anyway. Probably. Yes. Also. Okay. Welcome to the new hamburger at at McDonald's, the human burger. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. This the human Mc... used to be named Aaron Bright. <laughs> the McMahon burger. The McMahon burger. <laughs> McWoman burger. <laughs> but yeah, like wouldn't eat the McWoman burger. They would only. In the Happy the... Meal, you get to choose which type of child you want. One. Uh, it's food. Oh, Jesus not... Christ. <laughs> That's okay. Let's get back to the point I was talking about. Overall, if uh, assuming this sort of cloning technology does become available within our lifetimes. We will not only likely see the phasing out of uh, factory farming, both for the sake of the environment and for moral objections of treating animals like this, but as well as the fact that it's probably just going to be more practical to go the more moral route of farming meat that has never been attached to a brain. Mm -hmm. Well, the issue with that is, even if it does, is more a more practical thing. Uh, Capitalism. Well, that's the thing. Like, it depends. It depends how the corporations are engaging with this. Like, uh, and like in in like food prep sorts of areas, there tends to be more interest in new and innovative ways to get supply. Like it, this like. It's actually kind of a less common thing for like how uh, oil, like how oil companies now are just like super rooted in their ways rather than trying to actually innovate on what we have, try to invest in green energy. May I comment? I actually know something about uh, kitchens and uh, the, the ingredients purchased. Yeah, I'm, yeah also, go ahead. I'm also in a culinary class, but I don't know how much. I don't know that anyway, much. Anyway, uh, how much you can get an ingredient can actually uh, affect what ingredients they even sell there. The only ones they aren't able to phase out are meats, because even if one meat gets very expensive, you're going to have to use another meat because people eat a lot of meat. There was uh, a time where the place I work at tried to switch out uh, beef for pork because beef was getting more and more expensive. Just, we didn't stay on pork because everyone was th throwing a tantrum like, how dare you get rid of our beef? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> and then we went back to the shredded beef instead of the shredded pork. Wait. And everyone acted like it was a victory. And there was also a time where avocados became so expensive that it became basically, we were not able to uh, buy avocados to make guacamole with. And then people were pissed. Even though technically one, gua one avocado takes the amount of water of a football field. So... They're not very good plants to grow, no matter how healthy they are to eat. 
Some plants are unsustainable to grow for mass populations. That's one of them. Yeah. Also, uh, I guess I oh, found a game glitch. What? But I can walk through. I can. I can literally phase through the bamboo. Oh. I don't think. I don't think that's a game glitch. I think that's just. It's they're so that you don't get treated like it, it's 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 like any other plant. No, besides I besides trees. Yeah, trees. I was about to say trees. I bunk into those a lot. But yeah, let's let's put it this way. Bamboo is grass. Do you get stuck on grass? Yes. Is this bad logic? Kinda. Wait, what? Wait, did you say yes to you get stu getting stuck on grass? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I think the big thing to also keep in mind is that, um, like, people in our society demand meat, but not only does that not make it moral to perpetuate that demand, but even more so, it's largely a cultural issue that could be worked on. Like, for the majority of human history, like, we did not eat nearly as much meat as we do now. Welcome like, to this series on the vegan teacher. No. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that piece of shit. Bitch. But, like... Like, this obviously isn't to say that... Like, let me put it this way. I run in a circle with a decent amount of vegans that are, like, really progressive, and the majority of them argue from the position of if you can be vegan, you should. Assuming that it's not, like, and, like, when this says you can, it means you have the means to do it, and you have the bodily capability to do it. As well as assuming you're not being forced to do it to get rid of your cultural background, like a lot of people have suggested, a lot of liberal vegans have suggested with uh, folks like the Inuit peoples. Uh, to be honest, I don't mind having Caesar salad every now and then, but I can't give up meat. I love it too much. Well, that's... I guess here's the question, like... I don't even eat it, like, super often. I eat more salad than I eat meat. Oh, no, look, like, that's, that's the big thing, is, like, if you are eating meat constantly, incessantly, and you feel almost addicted to it, that can be an issue. But, like, say, for example, like... The majority of, like, European history, meat was, like, a once-a-week sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, in the modern day, like, the average person in America eats uh, a significant amount of meat every single day. And almost every meal has some meat content for the majority of Americans. Which is not only unsustainable, it's... Well, it's in my mind, significantly more immoral because, well, one, this is happening in absence of the actual connection to the animal you're eating like existed in those older times where, like, if you're eating meat, you knew the animal or at the very least knew the family of people who raised this animal. Mm -hmm. I would like to comment that how much uh, meat you ate and how often you ate it depended on your job. Like, if you were a fisherman... Yeah. You're probably going to eat fish very often. If you're chicken, oh. you're probably going to eat eggs quite a lot. Yeah, to, to clarify, when I'm saying meat here, I, yeah, I should be clarifying. Like, I'm primarily thinking of, like, livestock meat, like pork, uh, Well, fish still counts as meat, and so does eggs. Well, yeah, I know, but that's, like, what I'm meaning is those livestock meats here. Like, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying meats. I was just not being clear enough. Well, just remember, every unfertilized, every egg came unfertilized out of some chicken's crotch somewhere. Well, yeah, but oh. it's also not generally considered meat. I as consider far as I it know. meat. Like meat, meat, from my understanding, primarily talks about muscle tissue, which eggs do I, not have. I still consider it meat. Then is blood meat? Like how how do you how do you define meat? 
technically it's unfertilized, so it have never been alive, but... Oh yeah, like, I'm asking, like, how do you define meat to where eggs fit in? Um... If it could, if it's something that could have possibly developed into a living creature, probably meat. Oh, it's yeah, but that baby meat. Excise. Well, that's the thing, like, that would also, make it almost. Fish right, go are ahead. Meat. just another kind of meat. They're fish meat. Well, yeah, I agree with that. Like, I'm just like, when I'm talking about meat here, I'm primarily meaning livestock meat, but okay. I I wasn't being clear enough there. That's what I was meaning. But, um... Sorry for being a jackass, just I've known a lot of chickens, and I just feel like kind of demeaning to them to not count their crotch eggs as meat. Well, I mean, I just don't think that it's, a, like, an appropriate way to categorize them because it becomes almost meaningless at that point like eggs are their own thing they're their own special thing but they're not quite meat because from my understanding meat primarily speaks to muscle and organ tissue while that does not that's exist there. undeveloped muscle and organ tissue well and yeah but it's undeveloped. undeveloped muscle and organ tissue well yeah but it's undeveloped to the point that it's just not those like, is it, it like, this Actually, is Actually, in some countries, uh, they... Well, like, yeah, in the eggs fertilized have, eggs. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's a case where the egg does have meat in it, but the egg is, in that case, literally a container around the meat. The meat that is a poor, about-to-die little duck. May he rest in peace. Or, or, or chicken. Or chicken. I only knew ducks. Do people also do that with chickens? Yes. I mean, it makes sense. I don't see why they wouldn't. It's just I'd only heard of ducks. And you never heard of a depending on the area, it's uh, varying degrees of developed. But it's not developed enough to be born yet. What about yeah. a turducken? Uh, but we're not talking about the turducken. Uh, why not? Because it's all. We should never have invented the turducken. Exactly. Whoever, whoever thought of that, um, be deserves. Lit on fire. No, the, whoever thought of that deserves to sleep in Need Hog's venom. What? <laughs> Why was Jerry clapping? Or is that Spood? Me. Oh, you were clapping to that. I hate turduckins. My, my, just so you know. I literally eat meat mainly because I'm not rich and I'm not going to spend yeah. extra money trying to avoid meat because I'm sorry to say this to people out there, but being vegan is expensive. Yeah. And so, that's like... Which sucks because actually my body will get very pissed if I eat meat on certain days. My body is not very happy about meat most of the time. Yeah, that's that's so... something. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Like that's that's the that's a major thing that like I've talked with some of my vegan friends about, and it's like kind of it, it's it's along the same lines of like the divide between socialist and uh, liberal, but in this case, it's progressive vegan and liberal vegan where liberal vegans commonly look at it solely from the perspective of individual actions rather than trying to understand meat consumption as it exists within the system that is capitalism. Because when you actually broaden it to that point, you start to realize, wait, not everyone can actually choose to go the pricier routes. Some people literally have to only eat McDonald's and like you can obviously encourage people that can try to go a different route to go a different route you can encourage people to try uh trying more inexpensive vegan options there are ways to do it and you can find cookbooks and stuff but proper vegan activism comes down to one focusing on attacking the infrastructure that surrounds factory farming 
as the abominable, disgusting practice it is, and focuses around learning to help support people of all types while we hopefully eventually reach a point where we don't need to be worrying about the issue of the morality of killing a living, breathing animal to also, acquire meat. It sounds like... I, I think this, like, this in multiple countries needs to happen very likely since I have a friend in Europe where their country is having issues where literally one side is going extreme on legislations based on a, an entire group of their country not knowing food comes from farms, which is terrifying to me. As someone who grew yeah. up in a farm town, that terrifies me. But I also hear people say stupid shit, like complaining about the slime on spam, which tells me they have no idea that's fat, and they have no idea how certain parts of the pig cooks differently. Like, different parts of the pig will become that weird gloopiness when it's cooked. And it's not bad. Yeah. It's very flavorful. And one thing I'm pissed about is over time, spam has had less fat in it, causing it to have less of the blue, meaning a little less flavor. Fuck all of you people who are taking fat out of spam because you're scared <laughs> of the gloop. Because you don't understand how pigs work. Pigs are gloopy gloop boys, and everyone who says otherwise is wrong and dumb. Yeah. Also, I think food is delicious. And uh, also, if people understood what uh, uh, more about where their food comes from and what parts of the animal cooks into what and how much of the animal is edible, maybe that would help them either become vegan or vegetarian or maybe at least appreciate the food they yeah. eat for. Yeah, or that's a big... Like little bitches about certain things like the gloopy on spam. Spam is one of the, there's so much bad food we have, but Spam is one of the better ones. It's so good yeah. that it's one of the only meats we can ship to almost any country. Most of the, the other meats in the United States, we can't. Because yeah. it has horrible stuff in it. Spam literally just has salt and pork. Yeah. And, like, yeah, that's a point that I commonly, like, both kind of make with my vegan friends as well as, like, generally to people who are used to that liberal interpretation of veganism. I think one of the most notable aspects of what makes it hard for people to be vegan is just that. In the same way that workers are alienated from their other, other workers within the corporate structure we are alienated from the source of our food. Throughout the majority of human history, if we were eating a pig, we knew the pig. We knew the person who grew the pig, who raised the pig. We don't now. And I think that's a big difference because this meant that in the past, people had an overall understanding of how this shit worked better than the modern consumer base because the modern consumer base is just completely alienated from the sources of our food i do think if that there's a chance the some some vegans are also alienated and therefore would also need those lessons and they're looking oh, no. so much at the scary stuff that they're not looking at the positive stuff. And yeah, that's a uh, that's actually one of the most fundamental criticisms I intend to have of liberal veganism is the fact that they're basically doing veganism within the framework of capitalism that partially is to blame for why veganism is necessary as a progressive thing. Like, no, I... like, vegans who can, like, take a step back and say, wait, maybe stuff like homesteading is fine. Let's focus on the factory farming for what it is. Like, homesteading, like, genuinely, there's almost no serious moral implications there besides the 
base morality of whether or not we should kill animals to get our food. And like, that's a, that's a different conversation than what I think vegans should be focusing on. I think the main thing should be focusing on reducing the amount of harm that is done and pointing out that the current means through which we supply this over the top demand for meat is one of the most abominable things humans have ever created. Yeah. Also, uh, this is off. This is off topic. But uh, when I was before the... you go off topic, can I comment on the topic? Sure. Uh, then I would like to also say that um, there a, there's a lot of smaller farm town areas that have no factory farms at all. Yeah. And you'll see that animals look really happy. Some animals aren't even kept as meat. They're literally pets. I yeah. went to junior high with, like, across the street were literally pets as cows. They weren't, like, there for meat. They were just pets. And I don't know why they had pet cows, but I guess why not? I mean, why not? They're awesome animals. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Bright. You, you go. Yeah, you do your um... thing. I was fighting this person who was talking about Among Us uh, when I defeated them. Their only words were Among Us. Oh, or Among Us. Really? Yeah. Is that because you named yours Among Us? No, uh, they, were, I, they were talking about Among Us before I fought them and their last words were Among Us. So I think Nintendo knows. <laughs> yeah, they have to know oh. what they're doing there. They made an Among Us joke on Among Us? I think, yeah. Oh. They have to know what they're doing there. There's no way they don't. <laughs> they're a savvy company. What, or savvy what does she enough. look like she wants to take your body and cook it into salt? Oh, what place? the fuck? What? Uh, because it's probably what she wants to do with that thing. Oh, that's... It's like I'm gonna she... burn it. Oh. It's like yeah. an olive tree merged with a bird, and I don't like it. It's dead. <laughs> It's Italian bright. Italian? I don't think I Italians are. Really yes, thing. I love killing Italians. Right. No, I I Italians. <laughs> right. I'm gonna put that in quotes. <laughs> you said I Italians. <laughs> How did you not turn... expect Sorry. me to say that, Hatchet? Sorry. Sorry for, like, pronouncing Italian differently than you, child. It's, Ita it's Italian. Is there an A in Italian? Yes. It's Italian. Yeah, I mean at the start. No. Then why are you making an uh sound? Mm. That's what I was taught in school. I'm just... Putting this because that's how badly it felt like she was pronouncing it. I love killing Italians. I'm almost gonna look at that like wondering like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh dear God. <laughs> Wait, which, uh... You think I, I spelled it right for how Bright pronounced it? Oh, I gotta do something. At how Bright look, Momo. I am currently editing pictures. Look up. Added. God damn it. Bright, why are you harassing poor Momo? He's Away. Uh, Midge is answering. Wait, you love killing me? <laughs> oh no. What right, what have you, you done? You dug your own grave! You dug oh. your own grave! Well, I mean, I'm Italian, so that means I love ki- Okay. No, I'm not gonna finish that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. How long <laughs> until Bright- how long until Bright starts making Mussolini jokes at this rate? Uh, what? I love punching that man's Bright... face in. How long until Bright fucking explodes? 
Hey, Bright, you want to play GTA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d don't you know about... Uh, did you know GTA 5 is going to the Nintendo Switch? No one cares. Cool. What do you mean, no one cares? Some really excited Japanese kids probably care. I lied. I just, so... oh. I, I just wanted to hear someone say... <laughs> Hear someone say, "Mommy, what does what does the H word mean?" I can't say because the child's present. The hatchet. We you all are know. Earth say. Woman. You are an Earth woman. <laughs> all right. Wait, so, what H word? Uh, uh, nothing you should know about. Hepatitis. I mean, you can get that from that H word. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. It. Okay, do you remember when we were talking about the horned shark earlier? Yeah. There, just use words from that and you'll figure it out. Oh. Uh, that actually reminds me. Uh, oh, god damn it. I reminded them of something. Me, there was a Japanese streamer who didn't know what the N word was and she was playing GTA 5. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Yeah, okay. she didn't know what oh, no. she didn't know what the guy was saying, so she repeated it, and her entire chat blew up. Oh, is this the Hollow Life one? I know what you're talking about. Was it? I don't think it was a Hollow Life. No, there was there was a Hollow Life uh, VTuber who who musically set it back because they didn't know what the word. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, because because of the. Lamar roasting Franklin meme. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they they were very Japanese. They, didn't under, they don't understand English at all well. So they probably didn't. Very know. Japanese. Well, and uh, Japanese people, not all of them, but uh, there's a good number that they only see Americans as loud hot dogs. They're fat from soda. Even though soda doesn't even make you go fat. Actually, uh, soda can make you fat. It literally, uh, soda yeah, like literally it. kicks vitamins out of your body and liquid. It, oh, does, wait. it dehydrates you. Did you know that? It dehydrates you as instead of rehydrates you. Hey, Jerry. I did not know I, that. I'm going to help you add one more thing on a quotes and things. I love killing orphans. Uh, That's like so box standard. Get more creative, right? <laughs> Actually, wait, no, don't get more creative. Because last time you tried to be more creative, we had that last game of Cards Against Humanity. I love killing or orphans that have depression. Right? I'm not putting that in quotes. Else, <laughs> but I won't. I ain't doing I that. Have, I have killed 37 orphans. I killed a, fa a thousand. Child, why? Why are you saying that, child? Anyway, I like killing a thousand orphans. I think there are a thousand orphans that you know of. <laughs> anyway, uh, right? Do you make people into orphans? Maybe. <laughs> Is that why I'm an orphan? Maybe. You are well, no, an you're an no longer you an orphan want... thing. Penguin, you're know. not an orphan. You just want to be an orphan. No, Penguin. You're no longer an orphan, thanks to Bright, but we can change that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh-oh, Bright. 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 I can fix it. Run. I just need a knife. What the fuck? I'm Bright sorry. Is stupid. I'm so Ignore her. <laughs> Bright is just a very stupid woman. Ignore her. Anyway, <laughs> so the main thing I'm trying to get to, the main point is basically the difference between, in my mind, a good vegan activist and a bad vegan activist is whether or not they're able to understand nuance and actually look at systems rather than simply focus on individual actions. Because ultimately, individual actions are just one part of broader systems. Wait, is Brookham still here who heard all of that? Maybe. <laughs> I want their thoughts of what I said. Like hell, it's actually analogous to... 
Yeah, like it's it it's analogous to how liberals think of racism. Like is ra or maybe I should say like older, less progressive liberals. Like they don't think about racism as the system that it is. They focus more on is this person individually racist? But it's like, yeah, you can use that to understand demographics in different places. You can use that to understand whether or not you want to actually be around a person. But it doesn't actually help the broader system improve. Or does it? No, it, it, if, the Republican, if the Republican Party has taught us anything, it doesn't. Or, I mean, the Democratic Party. I like it, the bigger hops now. Yeah, like, actually, it, I, I think this is funny. Like, I don't think I've said this out loud at any given point, but I could probably reasonably call myself a vegan activist while also not being a vegan because of the circumstances of my living condition. I live with my parents. Thus, I eat what my parents eat. I don't make money for myself to try to go vegan. And I do try to phase out more problematic meats and eat less meat overall. But, I mean, so long as I'm living in my parents' house, I'm not going to be able to get off of meat entirely. Let alone stuff like cheese, Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't think there's a good argument for getting rid of cheese so far. Oh yeah, I meant to say this, Hatchet, but the Chonk has gained the ability to create earthquakes. Amazing. Uh, like, the argument for, like, trying to phase out cheese tends to be based on, uh, exploitation surrounding animals. Like... Yeah, but all the ones I've heard are t always talk about factory farms instead of normal farms. Well, that's the thing. The vast majority of cheese and meat we get are from factory farms. So that's where we talk about them. Obviously, again, if someone's not taking into account nuance and says all cheese, therefore, is the bad, I think that that's ineffective advocacy and probably not going to be the best way to actually think about it. But generally speaking, most cheese and meat that we get are coming from those fucked up factory farms. Actually, most of the cheeses and meats I've eaten throughout my life uh, were from my hometown, which were not factory farms. Well, yeah, but that's, I, I mean, like, in terms of, like, the general population. The majority of the time when we get cheese, it's from a factory farm. Mm. Whenever Which you have the... a chance, you can also get uh, cheese from a farmer's market. Which... Yeah. I know not everyone can, but... That is much tastier cheese, and you get to see how happy the cows or the goats are. I like seeing happy goats. Yeah. And I like their cheese. And yeah, that's fair. Like... Yeah, like, that's the big thing. Like, veganism, like, vegan activism needs to, like I said earlier, hinge on talking about how immoral factory farming is, rather than trying to act as if literally all expressions of this thing are bad. That's where we get from, that's where we go from being progressives into kind of regressive in the way that we're addressing this. Yeah. Because you're treating it like you're fundamentalist, which generally doesn't go well. Yeah. People like that, uh, a lot of people will get offended because uh, they probably, like me, grew up in areas where they knew the cow, they knew the chicken. And they knew the goats and the, the, all that other stuff. And it's kind of like saying, hey, these animals that you saw that looked very happy, um, they weren't actually treated nicely. They're actually miserable. It's like, well, 
you don't know those farms. You don't know those farmers. You don't know anything about them. Well, I they guess also that's... don't look factory farming either. They, they, that actually plays bad for farmers as well. Yeah. I guess that's also just the thing. Like, it really, really depends on which rural community we're talking about. Because, look, like around here where I live, like the majority of people who have livestock out here do treat them very well but they would never like they are also the same sorts of people that would probably be wanting to strip vegans of their human rights i could see that like i think it commonly just has to do with a difference of the moral fiber and makeup of a group of people combined with their economic conditions and how they were raised around these topics. My fucking flying dragon apple just produced 10 eggs in a matter of minutes. Let's see. Are you still saying it's moral? Yeah, it's ethical. Yeah, I thought so. Jerry, do you know about me ethically producing uh, apples for a green one? Not ethical. It is uh, not ethical. What's going on? The child is creating a mini Pokemon version of factory farming. No, 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 no. See, you okay. Let, I can explain, okay? You want to know what it is? See, I want one green apple. But <laughs> every time I breed in my book, I'm getting red apples. But I want a You're green literally apple. trying to say I'm mass per I'm doing this farm thing so I can get the thing. And so it's not wrong because I want the thing. That's not yeah. how it works. I can think of a lot of immoral things that people have wanted. Have you ever heard about this one guy named Epstein? Oh no. Oh no. Did you know Mr. Mr. Dropped uh a bomb on the Middle East, uh, like, like a child. Mr. Tactical Explosives himself, Obama, is on Epstein's list somewhere, apparently. Or maybe I'm getting that wrong. There's a lot of celebrities on Epstein's, like, little book, apparently. Yeah, there's kind of a reason why uh, he very conveniently had to die when he did, because based upon the circumstances surrounding it, it's kind of clear that the majority of big name old politics members of the country were on that list. Are you saying he had the ability to go out and kill those people? Were those people on that list? No. The people on those lists were his patrons. Oh. The, the patrons for... Uh, engaging in extremely illegal, no, no fun, not, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't say fun there. No, no times with children that he may or may not have acquired through very obviously illegal means. And what oh. he, the first, the first time he was caught on it, he was sentenced to, to prison for like a year and then served all of it in his mansion on probation, basically. And then the second time he was caught, he was going to have his whole ass black book of people that he's worked with in doing this end up being exposed to the nation. And he, uh, let's just say, uh, um, decided that that was the best time to off himself in an unbelievable chain of events of, uh, circum of, of happenstance in which all the guards that that had been instructed to keep an eye on him because he was deemed a uh, um, auto homicide risk. Uh, just just so happened to, you know, be taking like a couple hours off. You know, they, they went off, probably got some coffee and donuts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They tell me we stayed higher than Chicago's. There's, there's absolutely no way that Epstein didn't auto-homicide in that instance. That's definitely not what happened. 
don't worry. And honestly, in that case, even if he did actually auto-homicide, he obviously was basically just hiding secrets that would have revealed this much shit. More of the story is, uh, our government is fucked. And uh, kind of the whole world is fucked to some extent because literally the only reason he could get away with this is because he's a fucking multi-billionaire. Like, when you have that much money, you literally can do anything and get away with it. Yeah. You know, I should be, Don't be doing what Bright's doing and leveling my Pokemon, but instead, I want one green apple, and I love wrecking havoc on the environment Why around me. Penguin? What? What goes the idea of the shiny? shiny? No. Look, okay, see, I have a Japanese ditto, and the Japanese ditto can breed with literally anything, which... Uh, six times is the chance of me getting a shiny, so instead of being in the 6,000s, it's in the 600s. Wow. And I've already done, like, 50... 50 apples I've already released into the wild, so... No. You know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like you're desperately trying to make a, like, a profitable, heavily inbred species of fish to sell on the aquarium market. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say eugenic. Which is technically right, because I only want well, one that's, kind. Well, that's also the case, but you, but eugenics specifically is applied to people. It's literally just what we do with animals, but if you try to do it with humans. Fair point. Yay, breeding humans. No, yes. no. Thing you like. Ch bright, bright, what? bright. Do you have a brain? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, could you please invest in one, because I would like to keep this server up. <laughs> Look, what is it? Bright's... Why does that happen? Hatchet, I'm going to say this as nicely as possible. I don't think Bright could inv invest in a brain even if she tried. Hey. Yeah. She's too reckless. She <laughs> leaps before she looks, and even after she leaps, she, tip she doesn't always look. <laughs> Fuck you. Bright stands at the wrong. Bright stands at the edge of a cliff. Bright is given the option to leap. To not leap. And to look down. Bright simply stares up at the sky and then does a fucking backflip off the ledge into the rocks below. <laughs> Why does that sound like some cheap something she might do? I don't know, I'm Bright. Bright, if you don't include that in one of your in like like a side short story comedy about your character, I'm going to be disappointed. Actually, no, no, no. Here, here's here's my thing. You're all wrong. Bright is the type of person. So you know, in how in cartoons, the the big ba bad will be chasing the good guy, and then they'll they'll the the good guy will jump so that they don't fall into a pit, but the villain won't, and the villain will pause, look at the the camera, or look at the person yeah. watching the cartoon, yeah, look like down. The... The Look wily back, coyote then, stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what Bright would do. She's wily coyote. Mhm. Mm that actually, yeah, that is scarily accurate. <laughs> Except that I would use a minigun. Bright, bright, bright. I don't know how to tell you this, <laughs> but miniguns do not stop gravity. Now, I know this is a very hard concept for your no, brain to grasp. I'm talking grasp. about shooting the bird. We're talking about a cliff! <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I feel like there's not much going on in Bright's head. I feel like if you, like, did the, like, you knock on Bright's skull, uh, it's hollow. I think, you. It's, Sorry. I think she's just not up to her usual due to not having as much food. Fair Actually, point. I... Actually, I kind of question whether or not act Bright actually has a skull. Fuck you. Fair point, yeah. The soft spot never healed and it just didn't consume her skull. Okay, this is getting bad. Let's stop that. I'm what? just getting fucking roasted for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you deserve you. it. 
actually, you there there is a reason. You are you, and you say fucking awful, stupid shit that you shouldn't. I like killing herb orphans. What? Things like that. <laughs> I mean, at least we know- at least we don't have to ask whether or not Bright's in on her own joke. Where am I? You're either in on your joke, or, or you... you don't deserve to have a- have a channel. <laughs> or Those I? are the only options. Pick one. Or should I? Shut up. <laughs> Can we just all agree that she's not the sharpest tool in the shed? But we yeah, she's still not love the her. I'm the Shrek song. It's lying, idiot. It's... And it's. Oh my <laughs> god! You you referenced All Star, a song by Smash Mouth that has that has that commonly used phrase in it. And then you called it, you are a Shrek song. And you wonder why we say these things. <laughs> Smash Mouth, I'm sorry to tell you this, Smash Mouth is not run by Shrek. It would be like ten times better if it was. Oh, pretty little chain catch. No! No. No. Why would you say that, Spood? What horrible nightmares do you want to inflict on others? So... Okay, so, from my totally ethical amount of breeding... Of no apple, ethical in, in the amount of breeding you've done. So, from my research, uh, I'm pretty sure at max, the picnic basket that you pick up the eggs from. Uh, the basket can hold up to 10 eggs because that is the most I have gotten from the basket every five ish minutes. Also, are shinies good luck or bad luck? Because, like, if they're that rare, that kind of insinuates that it's a birth defect. Think of them as albinism in the Pokemon world. Technically, while humans enjoy it, it makes it harder for the animal to live in the wild. Fair. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, like, your camouflage is absolutely fucked. I have a question that confuses me. You know how ghost-type Pokemon are, are humans, right? Uh, it depends on the type of ghost-type. No, like, yeah, like we... on some ghost-type uh, that are humans, you can breed them to create more ghost-type humans. I would like an explanation. Don't think too deeply on that. I would like Bright to stop talking. <laughs> this is a Jiri, Dragon, and Hatchet Head stream now. There is no Bright. You do not see the Bright in the water. Well, to be honest, after... Oh my god. To be honest, after this selection round, I'm gonna have to take a shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a shit. Uh... I'm probably needing to go get coffee sometime soon as well, so that works. I have coffee. Coffee is good. Jerry stole exactly. coffee from Hatch. It's a mix of coffee, chocolate, uh, marshmallows, and a cinnamon stick. Jerry stole coffee from Hatchet. No. My coffee has chocolate, marshmallows, and a cinnamon stick. Go F yourself. <laughs> I have a very important question. It already sounds like it might be the case, but Jerry, do you have a coffee maker? Like a coffee machine? I use a coffee drip. Well, same basic thing. In other words, Jiria has much better coffee than me. They don't have a reason to steal from me. 